In addition to doing total ducks and, uh, and pond counts, we're going to cover a few of the species that, that are of great interest to a whole lot of hunters. And obviously mallards would be first. Now mallards last year in 2015 were at 11.6 million. That's way above their long-term average. Uh, I think they're going to come in quite a lot lower. They tend to overfly, so, so I'm predicting 9.9 .9 million, which is, you know, pretty still a pretty strong population, well above the long-term average. Yeah, and I looked at it, Frank, and I'm thinking they're going to drop a little more than that. I think they're going to go down to 9.4. Um, you know, we had a big overflight of the prairies last year because we were dry early. I think we had pretty good production, but I think we're just going to lose a lot of ducks this year. It could be, but those mallards are still in the system, so I think, I think we're going to count them up north. They're the ones that head north into the boreal, and, and we should be counting them. So I'm, I'm sticking with 9.9. .9. Okay, so another one that's really important, especially to our friends in California, the Pacific Flyway, Texas, Louisiana, is pintail. Right. And pintail are one of these ducks that are hardwired to get to the prairies. We know there's this incredible relationship with the further south pintails settle. We know they're more productive. We saw a pretty big decrease in pintails year over year last year. What do you see? What do you think is going to happen this year, Frank? I think pintails are going to tank. To be honest, um, they are so tightly tied to those shallow wetlands, like we're standing in. This this would be a pintail pond, but not this year. Bone dry. So uh, I think they're going to tank to 2.5, uh, and that may be high. Um, they're going to overfly, and they never do near as well when they go to the go to the Arctic to breed. So. Well, I'm going to be a little bit more optimistic. I'm going to come in at 2.7. Um, I don't know what's going on with pintails. They, they confuse me every time. The years I think they should go up big, they don't. And the years that I think they should go down big, they don't. So I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit on pintail. We'll shift now to talking about gadwall. Uh, for guys in Louisiana and Texas, gadwall are bread and butter. I mean, they're, they're important duck. Gadwall have done exceptionally well over, over the decades, but I think they're going to take a fall this year as well. Um, they were at 3.8 million last year, way above the long-term average. But gadwall are tied to the prairies, and the prairies are exactly where it's driest. And so I think they're going to take a big drop. I think they're going to be down to 3.3 million. Um, that's just my guess. But. Well, I'm going to come in a little higher, too, on gadwall. And the only reason I come in a little bit higher on gadwall is we saw gadwall do a crazy thing in the late 80s and early 90s when we were horribly dry. Gadwall populations actually increase. Yeah. They have, they, they settle out a little bit later, so I think we, maybe some of those late rains help gadwall more than others, and they tend to be more tied to semi-permanent and permanent water. So I'm a little hopeful with gadwall that they may do a little, fare a little bit better. I fear I may be betting against gadwall, and they're a bad duck to get bet against <laughs> in the last three decades. So. This is Frank's favorite duck the bluebill, the scop, and I'm giving them a hard time because they're not his favorite duck. In fact, I don't, if there's 20 duck species, I don't know if they'd be 21. Frank doesn't, Frank's not a bluebill hunter. I love shooting bluebills. So bluebills are, and scop have been a population we've been concerned about for a while. Been one of those species that's been below their long-term average for a while, but they're really important to lots of hunters. Um, you know, last year we had 4.4. Again, I think scop are one of those species that's probably not going to take as big a drop. Um, I'm going to come in with scop at 4.2. Uh, I, I think you're right on, John, in terms of scop are not going to take a big drop. We know most of the population breeds in the boreal. And I think I'm going to have a ray of hope here and say scop are going to be up. I don't know why I'm hoping for scop, but I think they might be at 4.5 million. Um, there's a chance they, they could increase based on last year being a good year for them. So. So that's it. That's Frank and I's guesses. Um, again, you have the chance to come in and, and sort of put your own wager in on where you think these species are going to come in. Go to www.deltafallflight.com. Lots of opportunities for prizes. Uh, we're going to make this kind of a fun deal. We're all anxious to see the real numbers. In the absence of real numbers, you get Frank and I making guesses, and we invite you to come join us and make guesses as well. Got to make your guesses before August 1st. We think that the official numbers will be out around August 1st.